Hello everybody, welcome to the replay cast of Kiander with his Imperial Nobility versus Hiru, which I assume is Hiru Mazeo, right? With his dwarves. Um, in the booth with me is Squirrel Dude. Hello. Hello. And uh, yeah, we it, we're, we're, so we've got a, we've, this is going to be a replay, so it's going to be pretty quick. It's going to be it's pretty rapid. I'll try to pause it when things interesting happened, um, and I guess we can like look at the teams a little bit before it Get starts. Shit on! Get Thanks. shit on! Fuck you! <laughs> Thanks, Perivale. Um So, oh wow, instant setup. So, um, Key and Dare had a pre-saved setup, so that was good. That made that made this <laughs> pausing a little bit more complicated. Jesus. So, uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, three, four, four guards all on his bodyguards. Block on his ogre. Um, leader. Tackle on a blitzer. Dodge on a blitzer. Dirty player on a lino. And then we've got one, two, three, four guard, one block, and a mighty blow. Easy. The uh, knobs have two spares. The slayer has a spare slayer for the orcs, it looks like. Or for the dwarves, it looks like as well. Uh. Ooh. The tackle doing a ton in this matchup. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I preferred Cruz's one because he just had two blodges, right? I think, like, posing problems is better than answering questions because they might not have... They might not be asking the questions that you want to answer. <laughs> you know? Nailed that it. That makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Like, you know, it's different in Magic the Gathering, right? We have, like, control decks and you can have loads of answers. I, I like playing those kinds of decks, but I think... In, in Blood Bowl, you just want to be asking questions and not trying to answer things. And uh, here we go, so he's just clearing everything off. Pretty pretty standard turn. He literally just pretty got nicely more answers the Blitz. Yeah, he just got more blocks. The Blitz didn't, didn't really help Hero at all. I guess he's further upfield, but... He's dwarf, so it's not that uh, not that exciting, is it? Would you rather have the Slayer or the Runner in on defense if you're the dwarves here? Ooh, yeah, both both Slayers, yeah, yeah, both Slayers. Because if this guy gets injured on defense, you've lost. <laughs> Basically, and I think that's why he didn't put guard on the blitzer so that he's got a backup carrier if this guy does get taken out. So he doesn't want to, like, you know, he doesn't want to keep plugging in the blitzer with guard all the time, randomly get him removed, and then yeah. not have another AV, another edge three. Or, you know, not have, or have to miss out on a guard to run with the ball. Oh, wow, instant injury there. Look a dog. Well, not injury, KO. Russell, first notch Russell. Lovely 3D, might want to protect the ball before doing this. Oh. He does, it's nice to see, isn't it? Not everybody, not everybody protects the ball before <laughs> making a 3D with a big guy. No effect, and even with block, like you know, maybe he didn't have to do yeah. all that before, but still, nice that he did. It's, it's probably just good to do it anyway and maintain a habit of doing it for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, you're not gaining anything by not doing it first, so you should do it first. Doesn't stand firm. These are all stand firm, aren't they? Hmm. I guess if, it's, if he doesn't stand firm, that might have been the classic Finn trap. Let's see if you're silly enough to follow up into just providing a guard assist for me somewhere else. Yeah. Man, Imperial Nobility is a weird team. I'm not sure if... Are they better than Burt's or are they worse than Brett's? I still can't... I can't quite tell, because the... Getting the bodyguards when you get to just put guard on them, they are a lot better. And when you have to actually figure out how to get these terrible player skills. Uh, it depends what tier they're in, I guess, right? Like what yeah. they've got and that sort of stuff. 
like four blitzes is pretty good, right? Being able to run around with four blitzes and like you know, yeah. If you had eight skills and you had four go four four guard and four dodge, that would be pretty good, right? Then then birds would be pretty yeah. decent with four four guard and four dodge. I think that. I mean, it would basically the rest of this. be the same team, right? It would just be you just put the same skills on, then you have a dodge, a tackle, a leader. That could be the exact same team, but they would just throw would be a blitzer instead, basically. Yeah. And Maybe you don't have, have the ogre. Yeah. You'd have an extra dodge, right? You'd have an extra dodge as well, and then you'd have, yeah, and then the the ogre. So they'd probably work better with like less skills than this because they wouldn't need as many. Wait. Oh yeah, you know you have to assist that. What's he doing? Oh, and then he uh, wrestled him. Nice. We just but... need Ducky to show up and tell us if they're better or not, because he'd know. <laughs> I've, I mean, I'm in the fortunate position of never having played Imperial Nobility and, and having absolutely zero desire to play Imperial Nobility, so I, you know, hopefully I'll never have to answer that question. Never have the knowledge to answer that <laughs> in an ideal world. He's going for a big foul well, here, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Surely. Aviate's too. Aviate Mighty Blow is a pretty tempting target, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't look that big a foul, assist. though. Like a two assist foul. Oh, three. Okay, three assist foul. I feel like this guy should have been one. Oh, he's not fouling. What? Whoa. I don't like I don't that. understand that at all. No. That's way too nice of a setup to foul the Mighty Blow guy. Yeah, this guy. I get it. You're kind of controlling him, but. That's such a kind of positionally free foul to get a stuck it in on that armor value eight guy. Yeah, and you've you've picked dirty I mean, player, right? You've picked dirty player to foul people. Stick it in, stick the boot in. Four assist foul with DP. I would. The dwarf gets on his back. You just gotta stick it in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, he has stood him up though, so he could get served. Oh. There's an injury, and no apple. So there you go. He gets to stand firm in the Kaz box. Birds did not used to be my favourite team. They were my best team just by the fact that I had to concentrate with them. <laughs> they were so bad that I had to give my all in every single game. <laughs> wow, we're really pushing forward as we're the knobs. Oh, it's yeah. turn five. Wow. I get it here, but this feels, feels like you're going to turn too early. It feels like you still had control in the middle if you wanted it. Like. Yeah, I like the rotate back to the middle. Oh, wow, and he's failed the GFI. Oh, no. Oh, no, four ones. Four ones, look, that's as bad as a quad skull. <laughs> four ones in a row. Diced. Oh. <laughs> are they, where are the normal dice? <laughs> Oh, no, not not yet. Not yet. I think if it had come in to like, you know, here and <laughs> he just picked it up on a long beard and <laughs> then maybe it is. <laughs> but uh, he's still got, still got some knobs around it. And he can clear it and, and get it back. And that actually might have made his offense better because now he's now he's like, you know, hitting with his ogre and stuff. Just one D? Oh man. Come on, make it two D. Do you need this guy over here? I guess he really wanted to preserve the player for the pickup. No, but this play, you know, like does this player need to be here? If oh, it's there, it's I don't know why he's not two squares further up to properly screen off. I don't yeah. I don't know why the ogre didn't follow either, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't assist this block. We're going for a 1D blitz. Double GFI, 1D pal. This is a ropey game. <laughs> manager 1's in a lot of trouble, yeah. Manager 1 is key and uh, Manager 2 is Rumazale. 
Well, it's Hibru. This thing. Oh, I just dodge for that. Okay, right now it's not good. Now it's <laughs> now it's <laughs> absolutely terrible for Key and. Uh, Wow. Dimmy G's reputation in tatters. It turns <laughs> out Imperial and Ability aren't actually overpowered. <laughs> Man, imagine Dimmy saying something and being wrong in a hyperbolic way about it. That's never <laughs> happened. Anyway, knobs are OP, they got a removal. They did, yeah, they just killed they just killed a garter. That's and his apples fail. That's like actually an amazing result. <laughs> Sideline cage without the cage. <laughs> Turns out it's a bit ropey. I believe Shawnee has a saying about the sidelight caging without a cage. Um, I believe it goes, do it sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Do it when literally nobody on the entire team can ever hit you. <laughs> then it's acceptable. But if anybody can reach you, probably not. It was weak because it did look like he could have come, come back in the middle that turn as well. It was very strange. Yeah. He's been able to come back to the middle and be kind of okay despite like the ball getting hit multiple times. <laughs> so yeah, I think he'd gone to the middle when he had more of his team that could have rotated in and the dwarves had voluntarily run themselves off the field. Yeah. So, yeah, it just blitz, blitz the runner. And then at least you haven't gone 1-0 down. But with you know, if he rolls high enough, he could have he could have just powered him and then lobbed it to this guy and scored himself. But he prioritised not going one nil down, which is probably correct, isn't it? But the question is, how does he win in the second half? I, I you know I suppose oh. look, dwarves are good on defence and they're not as good on offence, and and imp knobs mm -hmm. are better on defence with all the stand firm and the fend. You know, I, and, uh... <laughs> I mean, Purple Chest, you know, the, the famous not dwarf coach has kept telling me how uh, how amazing Imperial and Ability are on defense versus dwarves specifically, because dwarves just can't deal with all of the fend and the stand firm and stuff. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, if that holds up or if maybe PC was exaggerating how, uh, how difficult dwarves have things. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> PC would never exaggerate how bad of a matchup he has against any team or any player. He has <laughs> never cried about playing against goblins with his dwarves. So, or Amazon, for that matter. You know, every matchup is hard. <laughs> Well, this is a bit of a not great setup, is it? It's just uh, blocking directly, I think. This is, I think you definitely need to put a, a guard on the LOS here. I hate this, just blocking straight forward and into stand firm as well. <laughs> oh, really, Hammers? Wow, that doesn't sound like him at all. <laughs> He's seen what happened to Artemis. He knows how hard that matchup is. Yeah. You see, just taking notes from the premier dwarf player in all versions of Blood Bowl. <laughs> Take the pinch and get out of here, you little tinker. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, he's frenzy trapped himself, though. Classic dwarf play. It's fine. Even Completely if he has classic. It fails. Completely classic dwarf play. There we go. Love wow, didn't get a removal. Can you imagine being so diced? <laughs> I'll be honest, if you don't foul this dwarf now, like, what are we doing? Yeah, yeah, it's got to be a foul. Why are all the players leaving? Why are they running away from the... Okay. We don't want the, uh, we don't want the fast score from the dwarves. Plus three foul. And gets instantly sent off. <laughs> oh no, he used a bribe. Oh yeah, I give the call. Oh, of course, I thought I thought like maybe they'd been to get the ref that I've missed, but it says you waiting for use of bribe on argue the call, so he got the argue. Yeah, the call. I, it 
I can't believe it says use a bribe when it says arch crook. <laughs> can't believe it still says that. Yeah. It should be like, say, waiting for court reaction, right? And then you can choose to bribe or argue the call, because, like, arguing is a reaction kind of thing, right? Yes. Also, isn't... It... Can't you use a bribe after you argued the call now, as well? Wasn't that an FAQ change? Or no, you can use multiple bribes now. It's the change. Sorry, I just, I'm just dying here, coughing. Um, you could always argue first and then bribe. But if you got... If you fail the argue, you then couldn't bribe. So that's okay. how it works. So you, and also arguing um, is a turnover, and using a bribe isn't. So there's times when you'll want to use a bribe rather than argue the call to not start, you know, to not have a turnover. And there's times when you'll want to use a bribe first, so you've got maximum chance of not getting sent off. Um, so yeah, that's the, there are times when you'll use the bribe first, but generally you'll argue the call first if you have a bribe. Right. I don't know. I don't know what you mean, Redhead, about crazy cool that R took the time to grind out top one in both games. I don't understand that. Yeah. Unless that game is losing to uh, goblins in the playoffs, in which case he certainly did. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty good, right? It's pretty good against dwarves, just holding the center. And, uh, you know, making them do something to beat you. And they do have that guard and that wrestle and that stand firm. So it's, it's not, it isn't easy. Oh, he's not following him again. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I think you've got to try and dice him, right? Like, you've got to try and dice him at this point. Or mostly, at most points in the game, you've got to try and dice him. So, uh... If you don't have dirty player to foul armor value eight weak players and get yourself a man advantage against dwarves, or like, that's the target. Like he's the dwarves have given you like one of their players who you can target and just get your rules on consistently. Why aren't you going for it? Yeah. Yep. My memory isn't working properly. Art grinded to second in the ladder here. Like, he probably could have grinded at first in the ladder, but there's no difference between first and second, right? So he he grinded he grinded to a second place. Kiander and Hiru are the coaches' side of field. Yep. Kiander has the knobs. Yes. Hiru is manager one. <laughs> I said them in the wrong order, I think, at the start of the game. Oh, God. Yeah, Hiru is manager one with uh, dwarves, and Kiander is manager two with imp knobs for dim. He's playing good blood ball, isn't he? He's, you know, he's keeping them in front. He's not, you know, he's not committing too much. Uh, he did, he did, you know, nearly, well, he has, mm, so there's not a guard there. I feel like maybe Hiru should have had, like, a guard up that side so that he could have got the, like, mm. an uneasy surf, but, uh... <laughs> that lineman's just kind of being a lineman and not at all a little dirty player. A lot of this drug, he's just kind of been a dude that... Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I don't know what his plan was for that. Like, foul war dancer if they add what else to the game halfway through. Uh... <laughs> yeah, like I'd understand if it was like long, an unskilled long beard, but like you gotta be going after these troll slayers. They're just too tasty of pieces to get players off. Yeah, and dwarves like... being down men are so so much worse. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I know they're thick skull, right? And you don't really want to, you know, you don't really want to foul thick skull, but like their armor rate, like he had gigantic gang fouls on him that didn't cost him position twice. It just seems kind of crazy to not go for it then. And like, plus you've kind of got to get a bit lucky versus dwarf, right? With him, knobs. Yeah. So like, even if it's not a good idea, it helps you high roll a bit. Like, so. Yeah, if you're not fouling them, what are you fouling? Like, good runners. <laughs> Saurus, like obviously Saurus are a great thing to foul, I guess, but I don't know, I think. Yeah, Gutter Runner, Saurus, I guess, Plant Skaven Rats kind of generally, maybe. Yeah. 
or um, rats on Underworld generally. Maybe you foul them. Problem is, you rogers. <laughs> yeah. The problem is they're going to remove half of your team. So <laughs> you know? Yeah. You're in. You're in a. You know. You're in a problematic spot there. It's turn 13 here, three turns left for uh, Hiru, and he hasn't really gotten anywhere, has he? No, he has not yet moved really forward. He, is, he isn't, he isn't, oh, okay, I was going to say, he isn't the opposing half, but now he's not. He's uh, gone back into his own half, and he's wrestled. The... Ogre has also done a good job of being kind of an annoying... The... the dwarves have really struggled to deal with this ogre as a pivot. Like, they just kind of keep moving around the ogre. Yeah. No, not been able to figure out any way to get through him. Yeah, strong ogre. It just kind of feels like if you have two troll slayers, you should be thinking about how I can just use one guard assist or something to get through this troll, or to get through this ogre every so often. Yeah, or down the sideline, like I feel like he yeah. should have served somebody at some point. But um, this looks like a real bit of a, a gap in the air, so this is the problem, so he's got to put him in to fill the centre, but then that does leave the sideline open. Is Hiru going to do something exciting this turn? I mean, he's dwarf, so probably not. <laughs> Alright, here's the... Just a potato, I mean... Is he just not? Is he, I guess he's not going this turn, is he? Like he, he would just be a potato. Yeah, I guess he isn't going. He doesn't have to go this turn, right? He can just try and say the ball is safe here in the middle. Yeah, but I mean he's got nothing in front of him. I don't see how he's scoring. It looks like we're going to overtime at nil nil. <laughs> Super yeah, I interesting. I feel like the dwarves could have, should have had a more effective offense. Their guards kind of got all over the place, and oh, look at this 2D on the ball. Uses a reroll. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to do that without somebody else to get like you know the counter score. Hmm. I guess he's got four players around the ball. Yeah, this is already this is all all of a sudden just looking terrible for Hiro, isn't it? Yeah, I don't really see. He's got some guard that are freed up that can kind of come in to make some assists here. Yeah, that's a nice card. Wrestle. Oh, stand firm. Yeah, he just he, he got a push. I think he should have blitzed this guy right to. Uh, cause the, I guess he's only edge, edge two. I like he's only edge four plus. So I guess. I guess you do want to blitz the wrestler. Okay, well, that is, that is, uh, <laughs> you know, what's it called? Vindication for Purple Chest. That is uh, <laughs> Hiru's offense. Absolutely pathetic. <laughs> Completely demolished by, uh, by Kiander's imp knobs. Yeah. Dwarven men obliterated by knobs. Who's at 12? <laughs> yep. Oh, rolled a 1. And did he re-roll it? Or did he just keep it? Yeah, he re-rolled it. Looks like. Oh no, he just took the failure, I guess. God damn, these animations are annoying. <laughs> it's because he didn't have the counter score on that was the thing, wasn't it? Yeah. And the dwarves aren't scoring, so it looks like we're going. So yeah, we're going to overtime after two not ideal offenses. Yep. No, I mean, I uh, honestly, right? I was just doing it for the memes. I I agree that they are pretty annoying, right? Like you know, if you don't remove them, of course it's pretty annoying having loads of guard and and you know guard and wrestle and stand firm and you know fend fend less so, right? Because you should bang them out, but like they are annoying if they stay on the pitch. Which, finally, the dirty player's gone. Oh, wow. Eel pills and pals, the ogre. 
nothing. I mean, it hasn't been a boring nil-nil, has it? It's It's been two failed offences, but things have happened. It's been interesting. Yeah, you have to take the enjoyment from Blood Bowl when you have games that are nil-nil like this, which are a lot of action and a lot of um, a lot of players shuffling about, even when it's dwarves. Like, they have kind of moved, the ball has kind of moved around, and you can, get, you can glean something from these games, too. Yeah. The Ogre's been particularly effective at just being a really big, strong guy despite facing two Troll Slayers, who should give the dwarf some way to solve it. They just haven't been able to with the amount of guard that the uh, mobs carry on them. Yeah. And there are probably been times where we've seen that if you're going to bring a dirty player, you probably need to do more. And that, wow, is it really just they, they, they suffer injured at the start of every drive, just to reiterate that? Okay. <laughs> yeah. God. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's, I mean he has lost a guard uh, Hiru, which made it a bit trickier. Um, and now he's got the guards on the sidelines, but he's got the he won the toss in overtime, and uh, Kiander is down to ten players, and that is going to make it a lot easier, I think, for Hiru to break through now. Now that he's you know he's instantly got him down at ten, I think uh, you know they need the, they need their men on the pitch. To uh, to do something, the imp knobs. Yeah. I mean, every team does, but do you know what I mean? Like the uh, they kind of, they kind of need the full team to to really be annoying. Both of these teams, I think, are in the situation where they are much better and much worse if they are up one or two, up or down one or two players. Yeah. Particularly in a matchup where if you you know you're chipping guards. As the case where guard is so valuable in this matchup. Yeah. 3D. Nothing. Doesn't follow, he holds, holds the flank by himself. Quite like that. I quite like just leaving the other guy down. Succeeding three pluses is good too. <laughs> but, uh, I've never done that in my life. <laughs> I really don't know what he's doing here. <laughs> he's just hoped to base, base, basing. I guess he's got plenty of time to like do things later, hasn't he? But this seems really weird for getting your guard surf, doesn't it? That's like not what I would do. But who can say if it's good or bad? He doesn't, doesn't surf him. You've seen a lot of situations for surfs today where the coaches have decided it just hasn't been worth it. And yeah. um, somewhere Davo is screaming that that can't possibly be true. <laughs> I mean, I think surfing a guard Dolph is worth it. I mean, some of the others were fair enough, right, based on the turn. But, like, this is... I guess it's mm -hmm. turn, it's his fourth turn of the drive, actually. He's wasted a lot of time already, Hiru. But I still think you've got to surf a guard Dolph. <laughs> Maybe not, though, eh? Maybe he was right to, to not... Maybe... Oh no, he'd stand, he stood firm in for so this follow up hit. One D. Flip me. Now he's surfing him, yeah, now he's surfing him. Now he can't not. <laughs> now he can't not surf him. Yeah. Oh, yes, he can! <laughs> Comedy Mega. <laughs> he can't not try to surf him now. Man, I wonder I wonder how many people would have used that last reroll to get that surf. 
some people would have Boy. Done it. How many would have done it just immediately on reflex, let alone done it at all? <laughs> yeah. Instantly. Hello MC Crew, uh, Manager 1 is Hiru with Dwarves, Manager 2 is Kianda with Imp Knobs. Uh, just casually, casually uphilling an ogre. Puts in the two assists to make it a 1D and then, but it's still an uphill. Because <laughs> we've got the guard, I guess. And gets the removal. <laughs> and gets the removal, wow. Now that's the dwarfing I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's some prime dwarfing there. <laughs> Gets the pow. <laughs> not only does he not get that guy served, he gets the pow back. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm doing it last turn as well. He's also not surfing him again. <laughs> okay. He's got less in front like this you... time. Yeah. We're not dodging out this... I think you. If you're not taking that one D. I think you want to dodge that, that lineman out, even if it's a four plus. But I guess you just get. He just fends you into not following up with the hit. I don't. Don't understand that push direction. Surely you set that up so you can get hits with. Into. Mm. Mm. Surely you hit him onto the slayer. I don't know where this. I guess depending on where the slayer is going, I just figured you'd punch him onto the slayer, provide the assist, and then. Problem is, you've got to move up, right? You've got to move up here, running out of time. You've only got, like, this is like turn yeah. six of the drive. And the dwarves are about to make it about as far as they all made. Oh, never mind. Nope, nope, he's not moving. He's not moving forward. <laughs> and this is a couple of three pluses to hit the ball here, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. GFR and stuff. Oh, he's done, done. But he, he, he did like a kind of that kind of blitz before. Oh, I guess it's because he hasn't got a free blitzer, so he obviously that would be a four plus yeah. for this guy. Just gonna go for kicks, I think, isn't he? Uh... I mean, yeah, scoring's going to be very hard, so I think just going for kiss, kicks is okay for the knobs. I think it's yeah. not correct if you're the dwarves. The dwarves are... No. Should have, the dwarves should have been able to score, I think. Especially once the ogre got removed, they should have been able to score. I agree, yep. Yeah. They, they've got something now, haven't they? Well, I don't think he should have been the one doing the block. Or rather, I know he shouldn't have been the guy doing the block. Yeah, just got about enough here. This is a, a classic dwarf roll the, roll the dice on the last turn kind of play. Well, you, you, I guess you have to take the 1D for the surf. You have to take it. Well, no, you have stand firm. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, stand yeah. firm, yeah. And if you fail, he just 1D's your ball with wrestle, so... You just have to trap him. Stand and look at him. <laughs> and hope he doesn't 4-3 to 1D the ball next turn. He doesn't want he doesn't 4-3 to 1D the ball next turn. Alright, do your two plus to score. This feels like it was harder than it needed to be, but yeah, it should still be good enough. Uh, there's no there's no Goblins or halflings, is there? No, and there's also no ogre. So unless he gets a uh, a riot, uh, sorry, timeout, isn't it? There could be a timeout, but I don't think there's going to be a one turn. Like the pre slow on the imp knobs. Yeah, they don't even have they don't have the human or the uh, OWA one turn chance, so. Yeah. Not the same anyway. No. But we're going we're going for it. If he scores this, I'll eat my hat. 
Oh, good thing you don't have one. Yeah. And I'm not gonna eat mine. <laughs> he ain't gonna score. Is over. There you go. I like how if you if you go to continue, it just it just stays there forever. I guess you can carry on like rewinding and stuff. So there you go. Win for the dwarves versus their uh, nemesis that they cannot score against. <laughs> just joking. Just joking. Please don't uh, take offence, PC fans or PC himself. Um, I just like having a laugh about it. So imp knobs, not the not you know. Not being able to pick up the win, but you know, it's a pretty tough draw for them right here on Dwarves. Wasn't great for Key and Air, so you know, he'll he'll get his second chance in the uh in the losers bracket. Uh, so congrats to Hiro, commiserations to Key and Dare. Thank you very much, Squirrel Dude, for being in the booth. Glorious. Yep. Yep. And thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.